Oh boys, it's beast mode time. Today is the day that we test all the stuff. So you guys saw our ghetto cemented engine build. You saw the new intercooler, you saw the new giant turbo, you saw the stage two ported race head with big valves. Mike Reed came in and did a clutch tune for the like 100-ish more horsepower this is gonna make. I'm not sure where we're gonna land on that. But. I mean, yeah, <laughs> you know, educated guess, who's to say really, but ideally it does something other than just immediately whack the rev limiter and then uh, explode the block. So, you know, control it enough to get an idea where we need to go with it. Should be a freaking animal. Yeah, I like that. And also too, okay, we got a couple other things going on here. You might see beast mode in the back, but Rick was out cheating on us last night. Oh. You guys seen Rick's machine? You'll notice some changes. One thing you can't see. Yeah, big dog turbo on her. She had a big, big dog, dog turbo on it before. It's got a bigger dog turbo on it. Pretty much the same turbo that was on beast mode, little bit of an updated model. Um, but yeah, she motors real hard. She's running very well. So this thing's just about ready to head out to uh, Glamis. Need to put a light bar on it and uh, change the wheels. Got some fresh tires for the front that Doug doesn't know about yet, so that's gonna be tight. Unbelievable, this is why there's no money in the bank account. <laughs> <laughs> Between Rick's light bar and $1,400 in tires, uh, we're pretty much done, dude. <laughs> yeah, I can control this situation. But anyways, yeah, this thing, I drove it last night. It is a straight ripper. It's really, really fast, so uh, that's very cool. If you guys wanna see the entire install, uh, that's going to be on our garage channel, so we've mentioned that a little bit before. It's our second channel where we're going to kind of go through more of the slower, detailed stuff. So if you want to check that out, head on to the garage channel. And, uh, whew, yeah. It's yeah, a, that's there. It's going to show up. But rips. Cool car. Cool car. Another cool car right here. I want to see what this thing's going to do out in the field. I just, yeah, okay. Let's get this plugged in real quick and just see what this has to say. All right, so you guys have seen us tune with this map tuner thing since day one of Beast Mode. And uh, we got what you'd call a big dog tune. Whoa, out of focus, let's see here. DS500. Side by side, big league DS500. Okay, maybe it stands for blog two, big but. Big league. That launch control needs to be upped as well, but hey, we'll just see if it'll run first. So that is a 500 crank horsepower tune. It's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> There's no other way to say it other than it's a lot. Come on, head studs. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on, everything that could break. Please don't break. Uh, also, too, we have to probably check the crack pressure on the wastegate actuator because that is at a record high of 20 pounds of adjustment. That's, that's a big number. That's very ripe. What's this supposed to make for boost? Uh, between 40 and 45 pounds on a huge turbo and a ported race head. It's a lot of air. That's the most boost of any machine we have. I mean, that's more boost than two JP runs. Yeah, oh yeah, probably not as much air, but not a lot of, you know, good air. Yeah, everybody yeah. loves boost. Right, it's all that matters. <laughs> the numbers are fun. Everybody, <laughs> one rip in the field, you guys know the rules. So we'll get this wastegate actuator adjusted properly and uh, get this thing out here and rip. Tune is complete. Fire machine. You want to fire the machine right now? Yeah, fire the machine. Fire the machine? Okay, ready for this? Yeah. Yep. That's what I'm talking about. Why is that not working? Crap. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Rich, plug in the damn thing, dude. What are we ah. doing? Beast mode, brothers. Beast mode engaged. Idle and good, so probably just go ahead and move this thing outside and uh, get ready for a rip. Just gonna straight get right off the bat. I'll roll into it, but yeah, yeah. That's what I like here. <laughs> Besides the bigger turbo and all the power upgrades, just the fact that it's got a good head on it with sealed valves is going to make more power than itself. I mean, it's going to be a lot faster. Yeah, I mean, doing the leak down test and seeing the cylinder leakage, I mean, that's power that was left on the table. So. 100%. Pretty sweet, man. I'm excited. 
Just warming her up. Okay, well. <laughs> Doing a little more than warming her up now. That sounded really solid. Not sure how much he was into it, but. He's just going to straight go for it. Okay. No playing around. <laughs> Man, I was saying, yeah, he's just out warming it up, and then he got into it, and I said, oh, yeah, oh, okay. Uh, it sounds like it might be misfiring, which could be one of the million things that we've uh, changed back here. So I'll run it again a little bit, maybe try to launch it and see what happens, and then okay. move on with life. Sounds good, brother. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. So it sounds like we didn't get up on boost enough on the line, so yeah, may cool. have to raise the launch control. We'll see what he says about that when he comes back. Sounded clean though, I mean, yeah. it sounded like it was turning a ton of RPM, but. Right, right. Hey, we'll, we'll take a look at the data. We'll take a look at the Leo. We'll see what's going on. All right, he's running her back. Okay, she's not happy. She's not happy, Rich. Man. We got work to do. <laughs> got some work to do. Oh, no. oh no! Right through the one muddy spot. Yeah, she's not happy about something. <laughs> yeah, though. yeah, that's what we were saying as well. So I guess we'll take her back to the shop. We'll take a look at the logs. We'll take a look at the machine. We'll maybe assess our lives in general. And, I'm gonna do uh, a lot of life assessment. Hey, man, why did I drive right into the mud? <laughs> I gotta be honest, this fogged so up, only, couldn't see. Holy muddy <laughs> <laughs> It sucked. All right. All right, yeah. we'll oh, go no. check it out. Oh, no. Uh, this mud sucks. A few minutes later. What we got here is a classic side-by-side -side block issue. <laughs> yeah, normally we just come and uh, do things. Remember how we talked about this? As long as you just do half effort. Turns out we did exactly half. There's only one nut on the wastegate actuator arm. So if you look. Down there, there's one nut. There should be two, which yeah. locked that uh, wastegate actuator arm uh, to the actual thing. Unfortunately, it didn't happen, didn't boost, uh, anyway, whatever. So yeah, the arm is just disconnected from the actuator, yeah. which means the arm just flops open and yep. you make no boost, so. Good thing about that is it's all roughly 17,000 degrees right now, so. Well, that's good, it'll keep your- right in there, warm our hands up and yeah. back in place. Okay, we'll be back soon with a better running machine. Okay, see ya. All right, we're back out. Wastegate arm is fixed. I'm gonna go up and down once, it's still kinda cold. Okay, sounds good. He's gonna warm her up a little bit, get some heat in the motor. Ideally, we should have all the boosties we're supposed to have now. Oh yeah, I hear her choochin'. <laughs> I hear that blow off valve. I think she's gonna work a lot better this time. Phew. Blew his hat off again. <laughs> All right, seems like it's hauling ass. It, it looked good. It looked good. Let's see it, man. She's alive now. It was just all over the rev limiter there. So you could definitely hear it coming on boost on the line this time. Left a lot harder, just blew through the clutches. So we got some serious clutch adjustments to do. Yeah, 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 yeah. Woo! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, hell yeah! Woo! I bombed this. <laughs> anyway, uh, dude, that thing 
rocks, dude. <laughs> it looks like it's real fast. So obviously it seemed like you were all over the rev limiter. I mean, not bad. Early on. I mean, yeah, it came out of it, but uh, wow. Steve, what did you, what did you I, see? From my angle, it was pretty good. I was looking through the phone, but it was cool. <laughs> it sounded nasty. It felt like it might have did a tiny wheelie. Okay, tiny okay. Tiny wheelie. Just go look at a log now and try to. Uh, I say we hit it from a stop again with you in the passenger seat. Oh, okay, all going. right, I'm in. Let's do it. How's that all doing? Oh, it looks good to me. Sounds okay. Doug, she is fast, bro. Hell yeah. <laughs> That's making like 44 pounds of boost. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> 44 pounds with that head. That is some. I mean, yeah, think about that, right. I mean, a four and a half with big valves and you're making that much more boost? <laughs> yeah, it's wild, dude. <laughs> it's, it's pretty fast, bro. All right, all, all right, right, let's, let's go. go. You could hear it probably from oh, the yeah. Yep. yeah, we can hear it on the first run too, so I mean. I figured a little more weight would help though. Yeah. I think that dry one over there doesn't actually do very little traction. But. Wow, and I, obviously, you know, it's, the air's really good today. It's a chilly day, so she's making all the power. But. All the power, yeah, we gotta look at logs. We gotta figure out what kind of boost we're running. We gotta figure out what our AFRs are. I'm pretty sure they're super spicy, like 12 and a half, which is obviously in gasoline scale. But anyway. Race two. Race yeah. two. So yeah, I mean, I don't know how much you, uh, you know, wanna continue to push this thing. I'd rather blow it up in Glamis. Just to really waste everybody's time. <laughs> <laughs> Let's look at the log and see if maybe we want to make a clutch change and maybe we want to put a draggy on it. it I mean, it, I was going 60 quickly. I mean, yeah. All right, all right. Back Ain't no JP, shot. but she's ripped. Back to the shot. Yeah. A little longer than a few minutes later. Dude, I was just pulling it back in and it made a horrible sound. I think we're okay though. The transaxle made a sound I've never heard it make before. Interesting, okay. It was a... Rah! But it's in low now, I think we'll just creep her in. Nixus. Did you hear that sound, Nixus? They heard that sound <laughs> We are in Buena Vista. <laughs> Give me your best example of what that sound was. I tried to do it for the oh, camera, it's really, It sounded like this. Bad! <laughs> okay, so we're breaking down the data from those runs. Thank you, AEM, for that. We have the data here. Yeah, so obviously, we're, so this is where we're on. Launch control, it launches all over the rev limiter right away. 10,000 RPM. Hit it again, 10,000 RPM. 10-1, so we're on the rev limiter till pretty much, I mean, you're going, GPS speed is 50 miles an hour and you're still 
around that 10k so lots to be had there she's gonna yeah she's gonna take some more weight which is going to make it faster so during that period when it's on the rev limiter the boost is doing crazy stuff it's getting <laughs> real noisy popping so, on and off a limiter so. so what's the blue what's the is the boost the yellow uh no the boost is actually oh, boost uh, is yellow oh i'm sorry yep 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 so i was looking at the green which is your afr if you look over at the peak point here okay it's about right there maybe one click right or so Yep. And you go to the number. 49.6 pounds of boost. <laughs> but. Momentarily. She settles down. She settles down and then she chooches down through there at roughly, you know, on an average, probably 42 pounds. That's what it's supposed to be. So <laughs> this 49 pound peak. A little spicy, but. That's just, uh, just to get her going, you know. <laughs> uh, which definitely wow. is not helping our, uh, our rev limit issue. So obviously we can adjust clutching to try to keep it off the, the limiter, but maybe we can put a little thought into trying to reduce that initial boost spike. Yeah, I don't know how you well. do that. So it's a little smoother coming out. But maybe even less crack pressure. Maybe a little less crack pressure. Yeah, that'll add up. See what that does. But uh, overall, she's fast girl. I mean, it's already very fast. We could probably interpret zero to 60 from here to here if you were to do it on time. Of course, we didn't have a draggy because we're all idiots, but you know the deal. Yep. Yeah, uh, it's fast. Real fast. All right, boys, we talked a lot about making changes, and turns out the guy that knows what he's doing is here and you can tell he knows what he's doing by the shirt by the shirt <laughs> so that's not a tight shirt that's a great shirt i thought that uh, it took me about 15 years to get from our print service thank you printful for nothing sorry to everybody who orders merch and doesn't get it in time anyway having said that he's going to come in and add some more weight to the primary so what's the plan here buddy man so the guys the new setup's in um made some clutch tweaks last night trying to see kind of actually just swinging for the fence on clutching because i mean making 100 more horsepower is yeah not like hey i put a couple grams in it so threw something at it last night nick took it out earlier while i was at work uh, apparently on the big pole it's actually doing really good on rpm so we're going to hopefully make some small adjustments on the heel mid weight try to calm down because it sounds like it's at like 60 mile an hour just killing the rev limiter. yeah it's so, hitting hard so we'll make those adjustments. We'll get it out, make some test hits. Hopefully that will straighten it out to where, again, swing for the fence, do an oil change on it and send this thing. <laughs> yeah, we can at least get it to yeah. the dunes and yeah, yeah. not look like idiots. So, <laughs> hopefully we'll make some experiment tests. We'll, we'll see what we can do and hopefully it'll work. So. What's Milo doing here? Uh, he's just hanging out with me. Basically shop dog 24 seven. Milo, come here. Hey. Hey, hey. Oh my God, here's your Milo. All right, yeah, this is a pain in the ass to work on. We already talked about this a little bit ago, but uh, it sucks. You got to take the primary bolt out, which is a torqued bolt, which will eventually fail at some point. Compress the clutch in and then unbolt them. And there's these little pins on the bolts. It's so stupid. Anyway. Basically, great clutches. They work very, very well. I just wish the adjustability factor was much simpler on them. Yeah. It's the pulling apart and down. There's too many components. It should be a slide pin be done, but it's not. So whatever. Anyways, yeah. besides that, we're going to make it work. We're going to fix it. We're going to get it back on. All right. I'm looking forward to it. Look, he's even excited. Aren't you, big boy? Oh, wow. All right. Mike's done. Mikeman has done the stuff that needs to happen to make it better. Yeah, threw a bunch of weight at it. So ideally, she won't be on the rev limiter and we can get good data all the way through the run at this point. Probably still have to make some more clutch tweaks to get it perfect, but this should be much more in control. So. Yeah, I like that. I like oh, that no, big time. It's good to go. Just nail the trailer. We're done. Shh. All right. Impressive. He's driving it too, by the way. Impress. All right. So yeah, let's, uh, let's get out and see if the differences hopefully show. All right, all right, all right. Yep. Yeah. Later. All right, Doug was going back to get the draggy. He dropped me off uh, in the field for the shots, and <laughs> it looks like everybody's going in. So uh, this could be associated uh, with the sound that I heard earlier. We'll talk to Douglas. Uh, was this the sound that we heard earlier? Yeah. You know, a lot of things have happened to Beast Mode. We've joked about how we've never changed the oil and the transmission and how incredible it is that it's always held up to all this abuse and all this power. Well, turns out it's uh, finally said it's had enough. Really? It's got no forward gear. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
Alright, let's go look at it. Real tough work <laughs> Finally, man. Dang, it's been a while. We'll get this. This thing's tough, dude. They don't break. I had to roll it last time. <laughs> that, that's healthy work. Are we throwing gear? Yeah, get her in high. Uh, hmm. Yeah, that doesn't seem like it's in high gear. Try to go between low and high. Is that shifter trying to move? That's trying to move. That's an, I mean, yeah. We, tell you, brother, that might be a bent fork. <laughs> literally never changed that. Just yeah. Nothing out of it never even changed cannot, the oil. I can't not get it in anything right now. All right, well, hey. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe we'll roll in the garage and assess a little more closely, but at this point we have infinite neutrals, which is uh, not really what you're looking for. All right, so. start her up, Mike, and just try to get her in low. So I was able to get it in low before. It, it won't Listen, be. I was just spinning the secondary while he was trying to shift. To... Come on! See, I told you! Wait a minute. Wait a minute. All right, that's low gear. and high. Just give it a little touch of the gas. Ah, oh, yeah, it's gone. <laughs> I think it's done. <laughs> Real tough break. Real tough break. Chance of getting one of those overnight, it's pretty slim. Throw that out there. I mean, we're getting a lot of movement here on the secondary, but... Can't get it in low? Ah. <laughs> oh no! I'll open the garage door, we'll push it in. Dang it! Okay, you got it in the low, but what all we got? What a tough break, too. Ultimate tough break. Ultimate tough break. A couple days from leaving to go to Glamis, where a bunch of our friends are supposed to, you know, be out there with us and maybe we'd want to drive this thing. It's super fast, super fun. We're all gonna have a good time with it. She scooped, so I don't know. Maybe uh, <laughs> assess the situation here. I mean, if Rocky we, Mountain's got a transaxle, yeah, we it's getting overnight. We unfortunately don't have a, a spare here, so you know we can potentially yank it apart and see if it's something that's uh, repairable. Or if we can just get a whole trans, we'll send yeah. it. It's not that hard to change, really. So, <sighs> to be continued, probably the end of this video. Yeah, right? unfortunately. Like, Mike, I'm really sorry. I blue balled you there, buddy. Uh, I mean, basically at this point, if I smoke the rest of my vacation for the year, we might be able to get beast mode going. Oh, uh, come on. Come <laughs> on. Uh, we'll no, prevail. It's... We'll prevail. I, I, I wish we could have gotten a really good solid pass out of it, not off the rev limiter. And really got to see what it was what it was capable of so bummed big time but that's the way it goes you know taking a machine that was this was 154 horsepower when it was stock and it's now over 500 on a bone stock transmission so basically absurd levels of power so never even changed the fluid in it no certainly. three thousand miles been sunk it's been ruined it's been that's something to brag about he's, he's right it's never been changed so. not not disappointed in the parts in the timing more than anything oh so. yeah We'll figure it out. We'll get it back together. Thank you guys for being with us as always. You know we appreciate it. We would not be able to do these kind of builds if it wasn't for you guys who subscribe and who continue to watch these videos and donate on Patreon and buy the merch and buy the parts off the parts site and buy the parts through Rocky Mountain. Like, you guys are killing it. You're the ones that brought this thing together. You're the ones that are going to be responsible for getting it back together here in a short period Mon of time. Monetarily. Monetarily, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So... Uh, thank you guys as always if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing that be back in a couple days Hopefully you'll see this thing ripping you're gonna see a lot of stuff ripping even if this doesn't come together So it's gonna be a good time. We'll see you there. Okay. See you. Thanks Mike then. Keep watching beast mode is coming back. Oh, oh, oh big facts Ooh. That blows All right update during the outro here uh, Mon Rocky Mountain ATV 
and uh, they have the gearbox assembly in stock. Thirteen hundred and eight bucks. Rich for buying it. Tell them yeah, to buy I got it. everything because watch this. Show them the shipping price for overnight in that sucker. Twenty bucks. Twenty bucks. It'll be here tomorrow. Bet. Bet. Those guys are the best over there. All right, I'm buying it. Center.